Northwest joins us now with a look at our forecast. It would be great if we could just bottle up today because it was a beautiful day, right? It was. Four days in a row we've been stuck in the 70s. Mm -hmm. This is a place we want to be stuck, though. Uh, unfortunately, tomorrow, Rod, we're going to warm it up. We're going to add a little humidity, and we've got some thunderstorm chances. But today, if you put in an official, a solid, an honest-to-goodness eight-hour workday at the office, Good for you. You are a better person than I am. Beautiful day. Hope you got out to enjoy it. 76 is where we are now as we look live at the uh, golf course over at NC State Centennial Campus here in Raleigh. Now, it's not all perfect because there is a little bit of rain back to the west, but watch it over the past 30 minutes. It's falling apart, so that's not going to make it here. So we're going to keep things dry as we head into tonight, and we're going to keep them pretty comfortable. 70 degrees is where we're headed for 8 o'clock. Hour by hour overnight will slowly fall through the 60s. Again, it'll be cool tomorrow morning, low 50s, but we'll do it with dry weather and a few clouds. So that's what it looks like overnight. It's not until the second half of tomorrow that we have showers and thunderstorms showing up. Here's the surface map, but there's a lot going on, even though it doesn't look like it. Not a lot going on in our neck of the woods right now, but this boundary is going to pass north. That'll warm us up tomorrow back into the 80s. Then this second boundary, that cold front, will head our direction tomorrow night. And out ahead of it is when we'll have the chance of showers and thunderstorms. So tomorrow is not a washout. Most of the day for most everyone is going to be dry. It's tomorrow night that we have the chance of rain and thunderstorms. And even that's not going to get everyone. So let's pick it up tomorrow morning when again we'll have a mix of sun and clouds. That's another thing. It's not going to be a completely overcast day tomorrow, although the clouds will thicken up as we head toward lunchtime. So let's stop it again right before dinner time tomorrow night. You can see some small showers and thunderstorms developing just to our northwest, and then they're going to start to move through. But notice they're kind of only hitting the triangle in areas north. So that's where the focus of the rain will be tomorrow. Here we are at 6 o'clock. So this is going to happen after mid afternoon. So 4, 5, 6 o'clock. Then by 7 and 8 o'clock, those showers and thunderstorms along the I-95 corridor. Again, you guys in the Sand Hills are probably going to be dry tomorrow. And then we'll clear the stronger storms by about 9 or 10 o'clock, but still a little bit of leftover rain possible north of the Triangle late tomorrow night. And then I've added in a small chance of rain early Thursday morning. Nothing significant, but I don't think Thursday is going to be 100% dry. Early Thursday morning, we've got some rain. It'll take a while for the clouds to clear out, but the rest of the day should be dry on Thursday, and then we're dry Friday and into most of the upcoming weekend. So back it up for tomorrow night between 4 and midnight. As that first batch of storms moves through, we have a marginal risk of severe weather. Remember, that's a 1 on our 1 to 5 scale. Damaging wind gust and hail will be the two things we're looking out for. Otherwise, still going to be a pretty decent day, breezy, warmer with a high of 82. Then once the front comes through, that backs us up to around 70 Thursday and Friday, but all in all, still pretty good days. We get into the weekend, highs stay around 70. I got Saturday as the pick day because it'll be dry. 20% chance of rain Sunday. A couple small scattered showers Monday and Tuesday before we dry back out on your 10-day forecast with highs in the 70s through the end of next week.